today we will study electric charge what is electric charge it is a property of matter causes the attractive or repulsive force between them means two electrically charged bodies either attract each other or repel each other now we have conductors and insulators what are conductors conductors allow the electric charge to pass through it whereas insulators do not allow the electric charge to pass through it now see the syllabus of this chapter in syllabus you have to study coulomb's law si unit of charge that is coulomb permittivity of free space epsilon naught frictional electricity means how to charge is created by friction electric charge there are two types positive and negative repulsion and attraction force between the charge bodies quantization law and conservation of electric charge coulomb's law in vector form and superposition principle in this chapter you have to study these parts now the first how many types of charges are there we have two types of charges one is positive second is negative similar charges repel each other positive positive and negative negative will repel each other whereas opposite charges will attract each other now what is the unit of charge so the si unit of charge is coulomb the symbol is capital c how the charge is being created first method is friction when two different type of material are rubbed against each other they transfer electrons means charging by friction occurs when two different material rub against each other causing a transfer of electrons the body which lost electron become positive charge and the body which gains electron become negative charge now conservation law of charge charge can neither be created nor be destroyed it can be transferred from one body to another this is conservation law of electric charge means electric charge can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one body to another body means if a body is losing electron then other one will gain electron quantization law of electric charge important what do you mean by the quantization it's mean that charge of a system is integral multiple of basic electric charge on an electron or a proton means any charge will have integral number of electron electronic charge that is 1.6 into 10 minus to power minus 19 there is a formula q is equal to any where q is the charge of a body n is the integral number and e is the electronic charge that is equal to 1.6 into 10 minus to power minus 19 on this formula numerical may be asked now coulomb's law important topic what is coulomb's law any two point and stationary charge either attract or repel each other similar charge will repel and opposite charge will attract each other the force between them will be proportional to the product of the charges of the body and inversely proportional to the square of the perpendicular distance let's see in the numerical form the force between two charge body is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of perpendicular distance means these two points which you have to learn for the formula this force depend on the charge of the body and the distance between them and third is the magnitude of the force depend on medium means which type of medium is there between the charges on combining these two proportionality we will get f is proportional to q1 q2 upon r square to reduce this proportionality we have to introduce a constant let that constant is k so f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square n stands for newton which is the unit of force what is the value of k let's see the formula of k k is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught where epsilon naught is called permittivity of free space what is the value of epsilon naught that is 8.84 into 10 minus to power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square you do not worry to learn this value now the definition of epsilon naught we will discuss later 
When we will put the value of k in this formula, we will get f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r square and is Newton. What are the limitations of Coulomb's law? There are two limitations. Number one, the charges must be point charge and they must be stationary. These are the two limitations. Now, what do you mean by permittivity of free space? The permittivity of free space epsilon not represent the capability of vacuum to permit electric field. Now, Coulomb's law in vector form 1 and 2 marks question used to ask means the formula of Coulomb's law you have to write in vector form. Let's see the diagram first. We have two charge bodies Q1 and Q2. Both are positive. Both will repel each other. The distance between them is R. The force applied by Q2 on Q1 is vector F21 means from 2 to 1. The force on Q2 that is vector F12 means from 1 to 2. Now, the value of F vector F21 will be equal to vector F21 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R2 R square and that is R cap 1 2. Now force on Q2 is given by vector F12 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square R21 cap. R12 cap and R21 cap are opposite. So the negative sign used to come. So the force on this will be opposite to the force in this indirection. So either of the formula you may write for the vector form of Coulomb's law. Now the last topic for this session is superposition of electric charge yeah, electric forces. Means we have to calculate the net force acting on a body due to multiple charges. Suppose that we have a charge body Q. We have to calculate the net force acting on this body due to these three charge bodies Q1, Q2 and Q3. Let the force acting on Q due to Q1 is F1, due to Q2 that is F2 and due to Q3 it is F3. Then the resultant force of these three forces will be F. Now the formula of F will be F1 plus F2 plus F3 means you have to calculate the value of F1, F2 and F3 and add you will get the net force. This whole topic for the electric charge you have to prepare. Only these topics which I have, which I have discussed that are important.